right, guys. So we just got into Ohio here in Oak Harbor. And we're ready to do some walleye. Last couple days, I was in Salt Lake City playing some shows, and uh, we have been burning it hot. But we're ready to do some fishing. Come on. Our friend Zach and Mary sent us some goodies. This thing showed up perfectly on time. Unlike Zach, he didn't show up. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Woo! Pants, some hats, some shirts. Yeah! We're gonna look good out there. Getting us all swagged out for our uh, walleye. My lifestyle as a kid, how it influenced my music is, I think, very impactful. It's what I sing about. I mean, one of my songs, Country Kids Do, work and hunting, and fishing, hauling something, you know. I grew up with a bow or a fishing rod or a hammer or chicken feed or a dirt bike handle uh, in my hands at all times. I mean, and I think now that's what I sing about. That's what I love to do. And I hope I get to pass that down to the next generation, my kids and, and my little brother. Wow. What is that, Ruby? What is that? Is that a pumpkin? <laughs> Y'all may not know this, but this dude dresses like your dad. I love it, man. <laughs> Keeping it country. I'm um, growing up in northern Ohio, and things I really do love is hanging out with friends and family, grilling steaks, listening to country music, hunting, fishing, running dogs, playing fish. I love all that stuff too, bro. Here's to hooking some big fish with Country Outdoors over the next couple of days. Oh yeah. So we got the planter boards out and we got the rod set to 90. You can set your length back, whatever you're feeling. You know, most people I would say run between 70 and 120. Set the drag, set, run the line down on the clip out here, down the planter line. You watch your planter board, as you can see down here, your strings are attached to the clips on the end of the clip. The baits run back, that keeps all your, your baits parallel and keeps you from getting tangled. So we got all the rods out and we're watching the tip of the rods and over here for it to pull the fish to pull the string out of the clip. Then you'll start hearing this. Fish will be running. We'll adjust lines and, and try to get them into the boat. Now there is occasions where the fish will not pull it from the clip. So a lot of times we'll, we'll go like this and check because you can feel the lure whether it's swimming or not through the clip. We got the same thing on both sides and we're changing uh, how far we're running back just to kind of test it out and also figuring out what colors they're gonna like today, you know? So it, it changes uh, varied on weather, water conditions, temperature, uh, you name it. So we'll see what uh, they start hitting on today. Fish on. What's our counter at? 109. All right, I'll tell you when. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Now, all right, stop. Walk to, walk to the front of the boat. Keep walking. Fish in the boat. One on. Good reeling, dude. We just did a little pass and hooked into them, and it can go from zero to 100 pretty quick. Like you've seen, we had a giant tangled mess. So don't let anybody kid you. You're not actually fishing if you don't have hellacious rat's nest in tangles. <laughs> I mean, this is awesome. I mean, you just love it when the lure gets caught up in the planter board line. Yep, kai, yay. Wowzers. Hour and a half later, we got it out. 
check. But we were able to score three fish on the pass. So we're retying, undoing the bird's nest, putting them back out, and gonna hit the pass again. So we hit those fish right there and there, right? Yep. So we're gonna circle back through them, right? And we'll just clover leaf that whole area back and forth and try to pull until we get our limit. So we know that they're all right in this area because they're a big school right there. So just pay attention and when, when we get close to right in this area, that's where we're gonna hit them again. I think I just hooked up. I was letting this out. We're in them right here. I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I just hooked up to a fish. Huh. I did, I did. I just hooked up letting this thing out. Huh. Holy smokes. Get out of here. Now that is a uh, catch and release. I'm gonna grab him, stabilize him there, de-hook him. So he is too small, but that was wild. We just totally freaking hooked up while letting it out. I mean, we're in them, guys. That was crazy. We gotta be 16 inches to keep, but it was still fun to reel in. We're gonna do uh, a release here. Check it out. I'll get some uh, water running through his gills. Let him go, boom, he's gone. Big ones. We're fishing and he's ordering food. Hey, are you ordering food? Yeah, I am. I'm ordering my dad a birthday cake. Oh, okay. <laughs> fish on. Jared, fish on front of the boat. Fish Stop on. ordering birthday cakes. <laughs> Hang on. One for the hook, one for me. Well, it's slowed down, so we're going to try some new bait out here. See if we can get ourselves something to pot. Fish on, look at that. Look at that big end. This is the biggest fish of the day. these suckers up and uh, cook a little lunch. Come on. Get right here behind there. And you're just going to ride the backbone all the way out. And flip it. Cut the rib cage out. One nice fillet. And the trick is just to push the blade flat to the board until you get the fillet all the way off. And then just follow the rib cage around until you're done. And then I devein mine, the mud vein. A lot of people call it a zipper, and then you got real nice fillets. Now, we're not going to leave these cheeks in, we're going to take them. That is some good eating there. Guys, so we got magic seasoning blend with a black and red fish magic. We're going to sprinkle a little bit on our fish. Get it nice and coated. Since we now season the fish, we are gonna coat it in some Zataran seasoned fish fry. Grabbing one of the fillets, coating it on each side. And cooking it on a medium heat. Getting it golden on each side and then flip it. So here we have the cheek meat of the walleye. You're gonna have to fight the cook for this because this is the most tender piece and cleanest piece of the fish. 
The way of knowing if this is fully cooked is you break it open, and if it is opaque, it is not finished and cooked. If it is a flaky white, it is finished and ready to eat. So I hit a little bit of that cheek meat aside. Didn't tell them where I put it. Now I got it. Mm, that is great. Here we got some fresh walleye cooked up. I put a little bit of sriracha sauce on this thing. Jared, thank you so much for cooking this up. It doesn't get any better than this. This is truly catch of the day. Check it out. Straight off the boat. Whoa. Wow, that's next level. Straight from the lake. God's Grocery Store, let's go. We had a great day today. We caught some walleye, got to cook them up for lunch. Nothing like fresh catch straight from the lake. Nothing better. So now we're about to cook some dinner, pick around the fire tonight, play some songs. the grid about a hundred acres big but now I cost a living heads no we don't get affected between the river the dirt and the trees got everything we need and in the shop and they're still free the last time that I checked it this breath of fresh air and some bang for your buck. The fruit that you pick with the corn that you shook. Got your fresh spring water to get you the day. Smoke some high on all from a hundred away. Doors open 24 7. You can always come back for more. Around here. Zach, Mary, thank you guys so much for inviting me to do a collaboration episode here on Country Outdoors. Everybody tuning in, thank y'all. I appreciate you. Hey, and if you want, follow me on Spotify, Apple Music, wherever you stream your music, social media, and you can also find me on the God's Grocery Store Tour this fall. Just check out the tour dates. Thanks again, guys. We will see y'all in the next one. Maybe, hey, maybe we'll catch y'all this fall. We got bucks to kill. Later. Oh